fans are ready and so are we as we close out the regular season campaign with Iowa State, Kansas State, Farmageddon, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> alongside Spencer Tillman. You'll hear from Josh Sims on the sidelines a little later. I'm Tim Brando. Go back. He's the young cat, took over his second week of the season at quarterback. Now, they've got problems rushing the ball, Tim. They've got to find some production. They're just nine yards rushing against Texas. Abu Sama is the guy that they're turning to. They're comparing him to some of the great backs of all time there at Iowa State. We'll see if he can come up. Farmageddon came along around 2009 and 10 when the team scheduled back-to-back -back neutral site games at Arrowhead. But they've been playing since 19. 17 as you look at the series history between these two and K-State had won a lot of games in succession before Brock Purdy came along with Matt Campbell and then it got more competitive who could capitalize on that that is the question yeah those receivers know where they're going the defenders don't always do Kansas State won the toss deferred Iowa State will receive this tenant boots it away and it is taken at about the five by Carson Hansen, the freshman. And he sets sail and will be dragged down upwards of about the 25 to the 29 yard line. As you see Rocco Beck talking about Spencer at the outset, who was playing in a state title game not long ago in Des Moines, Iowa, that will carry it the lion's share of opportunities. And look at him go on the opening play from scrimmage. Did we tee that one up? Hello. Well, tell me, that 71-yarder right there is part of the reason why those two backs are not here today, brother. And that insert right there is what the difference is. Abu Sama, they've been comparing him to, to a lot of great backs, man. And this guy shows you why. Inside zone, gets it in there and just sees it, man. Gets north and south. He's got great speed, strength, obviously, awareness. Anything around him is going down. Reese Hall is one of the guys they've compared uh -huh. him to. Breakaway speed, no question, but he's got power to. Tim and him running these conditions that gives them a chance just nine yards rushing against Texas last they were out they were going to need to find a solution for that and he appears to be it at this point well a program that has counted on great backs in recent years and Contreras is in for the extra point that is the longest run of the season for Iowa State up like the North Pole, and he just went right towards it. it reminds me when I saw Marcus Dupree, Brent's press, 420 pounds. I said, I'll take the red shirt. This guy right here, man, is going to give you a reason to change your mind, and he's going to be here in this place for a long time. As long as he stays healthy, he's going to be fine. They expected a lot from him, and those guys just got out of there, man. I'm just being transparent with yeah. you folks. Other elements was... Uh, 2000 against Nebraska. Mm -hmm. They won it 29 to 28. That's Keegan Shackford with the kick. And here comes Seth Porter right back at you. That'll be a flag. Marker is down. Chains to work properly on down and distance has been problematic. There are two fouls on the play during the return holding on the return team, number 15. That will be enforced 10 yards from the spot of the foul. After the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number zero of the kicking team. That will be enforced 15 yards, first down. And he really now has taken full leadership of this program. This time a year ago, he was uh, in and out with Adrian Martinez, but he's been outstanding at home. That's DJ Giddens who takes it ahead. It is second and eight. Out of the shotgun. Giddens again. And he twirls his way ahead to about the 28. Got to get him involved in the scheme as well. Third down and four from the 28. This pass uh -oh. is. Oh, they jumped on that one very quickly. The pass was intended for Phillip Brooks running that curl. Jeremiah Cooper breaking it up. Bought it on this. Howard looks at it. And it's not that he's late necessarily, but it's just that Cooper is reacting so quickly and well. And you would expect that this late in the season. Guys have watched a lot of film that's accumulated. So now they're taking some chances and trusting what they see. Jack Bloomer will punt it away. And uh, Jalen Null and Dimitri Stanley are in twin safety awaiting this punt. Given the elements, we really do need a second guy back there. Mm -hmm. They're going to let that baby bounce, wow. and it will get a healthy Kansas State roll. It didn't take long for Sama to say, Samu, how do you do? <laughs> Mr. T. <laughs> Indeed we did. He and Rocco back to compare favorably in their freshman years. Well, I, I think Rocco actually surpassed him in one area. It may have been efficiency. Uh, again, that was a freshman record. Total yards passing in that department, but both of them talented, gifted players.
both with gifted athletes as dads. Uh, Sean Purdy was a Triple-A baseball pitcher in my hometown with the Shreveport Captains in the Giants organization. Now he's out at 49ers games all the time with his wife, whom he met there. Sama once more time taking it off the left side. Freshman from Des Moines. More on him as the evening progresses. Nice scout in the flat. Uh-huh. And the pass catch. is caught. Nice catch, too. Look at he, that finish. Boy, he high-pointed oh, oh, oh. that ball, Spencer, in the flat and got it out for a first down. Jacob Parrish, number 10, with a tackle. Well, Parrish the thought here because not only can he catch, folks, he can finish. Watch that stiff arm. Boom. Yeah. Oh, man, Parrish tried to square up, do exactly what he needs to do. Went high on him in tackle, but low man wins leverage. That kid right there runs with authority. You've seen in three touches of the ball his speed, breakaway speed his finish his power and the ability to catch the ball that's totally complete in less than two series I'd say he's a combination of Brees Hall and no David question. Montgomery he mm -hmm. reminds me a little of both look, look at that, that. boy Second oh boy off the football, football. Out, there'll be a lot of Hello. that tonight it's still on the deck Kansas State says they have it yep, they do. Austin Moore Helped, aided and abetted by the inability to seat the ball properly. Comes from the back, does more, and just stabs that ball out of there in the state. They're recovered by Kansas State, I should say. And D.J. Giddens. That ball was Howard. Was a fake to Giddens. And Howard kept it. Moves it's ahead. Unbelievable okay. fake, too. Just it with, it with the Binox. Second down and five. Giddens takes it this time, and he's wrapped up at the point of attack, but look at him surge. Boy, just carries a few Cyclones with him. 50% on third down conversions this year. Giddens, if you're in third and short, that's going to help. And he gets ahead for the first down. And then run away from those numbers. Spent a lot of time with Matt and his uh, journey. Here's a pass towards the end zone. A little too long, and uh, did I see a marker come down? I did. In the back of the end zone. Garcia, number three, R.J. Garcia, the intended receiver, T.J. Tampa, picked this up. I think the only thing that saves Pass him because... Pass interference, number two, defense. Out of the shotgun, Howard. Giddens on a stretch play, and that defense was outstanding. Tremendous penetration coming from the second level. That is uh, Will McLaughlin, the Sam linebacker. This uh, team is great in the red zone. 91% scoring points, 81% touchdowns. How about that from Howard? He's down inside the five near the two. Looking like this is his team. He's been in the shadows of others most of his career. Option game. Yep, towards the boundary, and Giddens is in some trouble. That was read beautifully by Iowa State. A nice play here. Tim, never been a big fan of option game into the boundary, particularly if you don't do it for a steady diet. It's too much to execute, in particular if you put the ball in the back hip of a guy. Doesn't have enough property to work with, as it were, on the short side of the field. If you've got the long side of the field, maybe you can get the ball and then outrun the guy. But you don't have much real estate over there to work. Don't like that play in that situation. Chris Tennant, 9 of 12 on the year with field goals. For a 23-yarder, every play in special teams could be an adventure tonight. Out of the hole of Jack Bloomer, he boots it through. Aim within the framework of who they are. No need to panic. They're still in the position of control. Short one. And then you can see where the development of style of both programs plays and benefits in these situations. Carson Hansen is the setback now. A little fake sweep action, and here is Beck. And he finally unloads it, looking for Sabota in the backfield. And he'll tote it. And he's ahead for five, maybe six. And Iowa State is very similar and consistent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm to the Kansas State approach. Very rarely do these teams beat themselves. That out pattern is caught by Jalen Null. 3-5, as you mentioned, Tim, is really designed to let the flow of the linebackers and the back-end guys have success, and he did. Tyler Perkins will pump oh, this nice one away. Run. Big time. Brooks decides to take it to the wide side of the field and then cut it back up. Pretty good return. 44-yard boot on the, the return, on the turf. Illegal block in the back. Number 80 of the return team. It's a 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Timeout on the field. And 80 is who they flag here, Spencer. Yeah, well, he does get him in the back. And even though he presents himself in the transfer from Florida State, 
right by Will Howard after the penalty. They're backed up inside the 15. That's a good first down run by Ward. Steve Sarkeesian of Texas. They settled things yesterday and today. And ahead for another great run. Sean Ward is so working in tandem down there, trying to beat up that three-man front with five. Ward on a stretch play. He got to the corner, going to the wide side of the field, pushed out by Miles Purchase. Oh, and man. <laughs> what, a, what a great fake. And the bite was huge. And the hit was also outstanding, but it was on the wrong guy. Sergis finally gets Will Howard. First down. Man. Howard nice. it's on the check down. Why not? Then Senate. He's a guy. You talk about a young man that's come from really nowhere. Former walk-on. Been that way for a long time. Yeah, your ultimate Swiss Army knife in this nice. Kansas State offense. And there's a slam. A thing of beauty. <laughs> it's Philip Brooks. And there's that explosiveness, Spencer, you were talking about. To make great plays. And I believe this guy here is the difference. Even though they're going to walk it back because of the flag, you still see the explosiveness of what Kansas State has. They're not just a bully team. Yeah, you still got to defend it from a defensive standpoint. That's a 26-yard gain. Howard with plenty of time. Of yeah, and this pass is high-pointed beautifully by Jace Brown. So they get all of that yardage back. I passed by there a time or two in the spring. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Near Orange Beach. <laughs> and Destin. All those areas. Rashawn Ward uh, trying to get something done in the middle. Runs into McLaughlin. Nice option. Oh, oh, he's going to keep it again. Yep. You're right. That is every bit as much of an RPO as an option. It looks option early. Freeler shoves him out of bounds. One who's put on walk-out uniform. Going fast now. Out to Ward, and Treshawn gets ahead for more positive yardage. And he won't blink to put it in. Second and one. Ward bounces off the first tacklers and should have the first down in the arms of Trent Jones. Oh, the play action. Nice. Plenty of time. And again, he looks to and finds Brooks at the five-yard line. And a lot of times, uh, runners may not know what yard line they're on. There's a beautiful defensive play made by Purchase. Just uh, going in there. Well, Howard for a loop. Well, this is just a great open field tackle right here. Miles doing a wonderful job of just getting in there. Get home to watch, but boy, oh, boy, the ones that are here are having fun. Yep. Howard on third and goal. Back of the end zone, his receiver fell down. 77, we shut it down a bit. This field goal by Tennant measures 23 again. And Kansas State is held to three. In Jackson, Mississippi. Uh-oh, fumbled. And they're wisely on top of it. It was uh, Merkel again that was trying to field it. Carson Hance touchdown jaunt on the game's opening play from scrimmage. And here he goes again. Mm. Takes about three or four to bring him down. V.J. Payne, the first to get there. The sophomore from Gainesville, Georgia. And we've come to the end of one after that gain of four. Farmageddon. It is one of two continuing series in its 107th straight game. Ah. Uh, History is the currency of college football. And it's snowing, too. I'll get through the evening. Samma is in that backfield, and he's going to carry it one more time. And he is getting attention now after that first run. But look out. Doctor. Here he goes one more time. Streaking down the sidelines. He's got a home run hitter. Abu says... Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> knew he was coming again. Nice little ISO formation look, and he finds a little soft spot. Probably should have been caught for a two-yard loss. But watch him put these, <laughs> these <laughs> defenders in his hip pocket. I mean, these are the fastest guys right here on the edge, and he just puts them all in his hip pocket and runs away from an outstanding 77-yard jump. Powerful, man. Woo! Doctor. Uh, uh, Abu Sama the third. We will give him all of the surname 
after those two runs one of 71 one of 77 that's 161 yards just in in two touchdown runs Contreras with the extra point that was a high snap but he gets it through and this kid is having his coming out party after what was his strongest game against BYU 110 yards and two scores on only eight carries I'd say he's bettered that so far tonight in the snow what you saw is balance the ability to avoid instinct and then to get outside and outrun and then down the stretch he comes will he make it on the outside Betty don't close him fast <laughs> and this guy right here puts him in the hip pocket Tim and I just love the passion that he runs with again not affected by the turnover understanding that was preceded by the big heavy hitter to 74 yards to start things off this guy's special right here and you can see why those two prior guys the war five and six no longer wearing the cyclone uniform so he look I, I got we got to do something about that yep and there's not very many holes in what we do but that's one thing we've got to get directed I think they, they felt like you know what we're asking too much of Rocco we really are there's too much pressure yeah indeed here comes Treshawn Ward with the return great coverage will be in a bowl this year and they're trying to deliver Kansas State its only home loss to close out their year here's Senate a little tight end screen coming up the young man from Waterloo, Iowa, senior that's come such a long way, what they're all about. Good run by DJ Giddens. He'll have the first down. Yep, nice little inside zone. Jones got the running back and a couple of his own guys from the 27. Howard. Flag. That'll be a flag down here, Tim. Hold yeah. on the receiver. Taking a while for people to Ryder identify the flags. Holding number two, defense. It's a 10-yard penalty and an automatic first down. Great call, partner. Yep, he's in press coverage right here, and he slams and watch him, Tampa camera that left hand and grabs Johnson back, who was trying to make his way back to the boundary. But there's the three cloud, but he wasn't too when he, when he did that. Here goes Howard. Quarterback Skylar Thompson, you think about that, and then of course Martinez, who was picked up out of the portal. This nice. pass is beautiful to Senate. And it's amazing how he always knows where Ben is going to be. TJ Tampa shoves him out. These two have a real connection. Here's one of the more difficult passes to avoid, absolutely. Even is. when conditions are good. First down after the gain of 26. And here goes Giddens. And he forges ahead for a nice, healthy gain of about six, maybe seven. Freeler with the tackle. And got to be even more so to call. Second down and three. Giddens. And he has wrestled out. Both past quarterbacks won a Heisman finalist, including Klein. More on Iowa State a bit later as DJ Giddens burrows ahead and then is pushed back. This great defense by RJ Singleton, number 58, the right defensive end and that down technique. So they emptied everything out. It's definitely going to be a throw. Oh, look at the protection. This is a three man rush. Yeah, no big there. time. Howard's pass is overthrown that time. Wonderful job of dialing the pressure there. He's a real veteran, and here goes Giddens all the way inside the five. Doctor. Big time stick inside the five at the four. Was that the kid surges? It was. 29, the freshman. Here is the freshman stepping up and stepping in. Here's a surges for you. That's a surge right there, man. Giddens on first and goal. Gets it to the one before being pushed back. Giddens has eight rushes for touchdowns this year. Tying Howard for the team lead. Let's see where they go here. It is Giddens. And he gets stopped at the point there. of attack. Nothing doing. He's got some help from the fullback Moore. Mm, and good. here he goes. Touchdown. <laughs> Tenant for the extra point. with that defense now the question is how do they respond after this we'll see on this next defensive possession in K-State guys here comes Hanson with the return 
runs into some trouble near the 30-yard line. And this is what's been giving him fit, Spencer D. Well, the ability to hit on the ISO home run, right? You can show some end-to-end -end speed, awareness of where the tension is coming from, and they'll swat them away. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. Cough it up from time to time, but then snap and clear mentality. Come right back and say, you know what? Made a mistake, but I'm going to tone for that right now. Osama, man, on the other end, and Coach Matt Campbell says that's what I'm talking about. Back in there, flanking Rocco Beck. He's going to Savannah die out of number 24. And oh, oh, there he look, at, look at him go. I mean, <laughs> my goodness. Remember this night, ladies and gentlemen, because next year, next year when we begin the season, you're going to be hearing, I'm sure Bruce Feldman will put uh, on his freaks list <laughs> this young man right here because he's got... The knockout punch. This guy yeah, is he, a home run hitter. He's wound tight. You can see it right there. You know, other guys that had that kind of wound tightness. For you old hands out there, remember Walter Payton was wound tight. He was. He had the springs in his legs. This kid has got some of that same uh, aspect to his personality, the way he runs and handles himself. Very explosive. 31 uh -oh. yards. Uh oh, look out. Rocco tries to get on it and does. Jim Boniface, the uh, center, just to let that one go a little too quickly. Loss of 18. And they go to middle screen, and that goes nowhere. That was Benjamin Bramer, the tight end on the middle screen. The freshman from Pierce, Nebraska, is now in the game for him. So yep. he'll take it and look out. He spins a couple of times, gets ahead. For about eight, Keenan Garber, number one, coming up from cornerback to make the stop, and it'll be a punt formation as on Fox. Hope you enjoyed it. Right. This just can't crack that net, can he? I sure can't. That's a fair catch, and it's taken inside the 20 things around for this program from futility U to championship U in this conference. Yeah, that first tour duty that again in 1989 was really outstanding. Sure it was. And he said, you guys want to talk with us, you, you better come out Tuesday. Here's <laughs> Senate. Yeah. A little out pattern, and the big tight end slash H-back gets it out for a few yards. Bo Freeler uh, making the stop. They are in contact uh, two or three times a week religiously. Crossing pattern. It is caught. And it's taken in by Keegan Johnson, which is to all of the McCain family. That's really tough when you lose a friend like that to cancer. Making life easier for Rocco Bud, I'll tell you that. Went ahead for a couple of yards on first down here. With state stars, including Brees Hall. How about that? Man's a dog. <laughs> Holly Gordon, the great back at Oklahoma State that's had such a stellar year, reminds me a little bit of Brees Hall. Leads the nation in rushing, isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. How many people really know that? Samu ahead for about four that time as Will Lee, the third, number eight. No time to think about it. <laughs> anything but the next game. Yeah. Carson Hansen, the setback now on third and six. Rocco. Oh, nice. He's thinking about it, looking for a little help. Nice. And he almost threw a pick. Oh. Between Michigan and Ohio State, won by the Wolverines. Oh, and Phil Brooks is going to pick it up late. And look out. Oh. Look out. Well, you got to have some confidence in making that kind of decision. Oh. Mr. Virtual. <laughs> Love it. DJ Giddens will carry here. Keep their hopes alive before they... Go into play, Georgia. Well, you know Timmy Clay Collins is a bit of a guessing game. Yes, it time is. Time. Yes, it is. T.J. Tampa comes up to make that play. And augment this three-man rush, right? Playing run force. That's what you're looking for. Split wide to the top of your screen on third and 13. Howard's looking that way. And that comebacker is incomplete. Again, great all over and great coverage by Miles Purchase. That kind of coverage on the outside, the proximity of the defender right in your hip pocket. His purchase just settles in. He never really has to look back. He is mirroring what the receiver is doing. Bloomer will punt away with Jalen Null, number 13, back deep. It's a high one. Yeah. Oh, and a bit end over end. Not one you want to play with. Hit oh, it hit. It hit an Iowa State player. An Iowa State player, it appeared. Kansas State's going to say they got them off. To know if you're kicking it to the left or the right, if you intend to sky it. That's part of a strategy. Howard's pass incomplete. Nice gift, Nice. And from the 41, Giddens. 
Chase. Brings it up to about the 35-yard line. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke there. And by the way, shot. by the way, Shear is producing my UCLA Villanova game on the night. That was nearly picked off. Long field goal. Just asking perhaps for trouble. And this fourth down conversion is there. Complete to Jace Brown. Young man out of Fort Walton Beach. Opportunity to take the lead before the intermission. And that one's caught right at the sidelines to Jace Brown again. But the scheme is working. A couple of turnovers picked up. When you think about it, here's Howard looking, nice. finding, and it's incomplete off the hands of Brown that time. Yeah, Jeremiah Cooper, though, is, is stopping him. Watch it. A little nice hand right there. He had that right hand on that fanny pack, though, man. Got, a little bit, got away with that, brother. Garcia is coming to the game at wide receiver. There. The seven guys that have dropped mm. back in that scenario now you got a problem because one of the defensive ends actually dropped from seven to no in the balance. And a chance of a 10 win season if you can win a bowl game. It's just late. Underneath the center. As advertised, there he is. Touchdown. That's a big swing of momentum before halftime right there. Right here, Kansas State, and they are impressive, Tim. Fair catch on the pooch kick again to Burkle, the reserve tight end. Tim, there's no mystery why they're ranked up so highly up there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Farmageddon has been a lot of fun. And uh, Abu Sama, Timmy, averaging 24. How about that? Explosive every time he touches the ball. This guy is unbelievable. Into end solution. We call him the eraser. Coming into this contest, Iowa State needed to find a solution with the run game. Just having nine yards against Texas in that loss. No solution was rectified early on. He showed you all aspects of his game. He's like a 5-2 pitcher, catcher. He can does it all. And Matt Campbell's appreciative of it. He may have had two guys that departed, Tim, but he's got a number one for a long time to come. Well, let's uh, get you ready for the second half as Kansas State will receive to open the second half. That turnover they got right before the end of the half and touchdown to Senate was huge. And here comes Treshawn Ward with the kick. He slips on the precipitation and is down at the 21. And special teams remains an adventure for both squads. And first down, Howard over the middle, almost picked off. That was thrown behind Jace Brown. Top of your screen, closest to the line of scrimmage. Giddens is the setback, nice. and there he sets sail. Look out for DJ. That's Freeler making the stop. Malik Verdon is an outstanding strong safety, unable to go tonight. Nice. Giddens again. Stopped by TJ Tampa. The setback number 31. Play fake to him, and Howard lets it go for Brooks, and that one is underneath it. picked off. Almost, almost picked off. Jeremiah Cooper had it, but when he hit the turf and the snow, it came rattling away. Giving you a power eye set up out of the shotgun. Senate leading the way, and Giddens doesn't get very far. That's great defense by Jack Sadowski, the middle linebacker. Yeah. Out of the gun, Howard with time, and underneath he goes on the curl to Jace Brown for a first down. Okay, this uh -oh. is an important defensive, defensive sequence, and we've got a false start. Those two twin receivers up top. Yep. False Couldn't start. get beyond Number the official. Offense. Top of your screen on first and 15. Uh, that one's air mailed, incomplete, intended for Jackson again. Comes a little corner cap blitz. And it's not on time, and the throw is. Affected to some extent. It was intended for Senate. Fans wanted a, a roughing penalty. They're not going to get it. Best they can. On this snowy night. And Senate will take it underneath. And look out. Yards after oh, catch. He's a little bit short. He is short. Stopped by Bo Freeler. I, I absolutely agree with it. Watch out, there's a fair catch made. And the ball's bouncing around again inside the 20-yard line and rolls dead at the 18. No one turns the ball over fewer than the Cyclones. Samo. A 
Boo Samar. He has been the star of this night for Iowa State. Stopped in his tracks that time by B.J. Payne to get yardage against Texas that night because they couldn't get anything done. Oh, nice. On the ground, and there's a slant that could go all the way. <laughs> Jalen Null leaves K-State null and void in the secondary. <laughs> 79 yards. The state have gone 79, 77. This one's 71. And the first one, this one goes for 79. Peace, Noel. Man, watch this guy right here, man. He can haul, man. It was a laser shot delivered on time. Contreras. Oh, nice handle. Did he get it up? Josh, apparently. Man, that was... To get that hole down to make sure the score is where it is at 21 to 20. And here's Treshawn Ward with the return. Making his way to the locker room after that injury. They're going to check him out, maybe take uh, an x-ray or two. Here's DJ Giddens with a quick burst. Maybe enough for the first down. Will's going to try to get his throw game on here. They go empty. Oh, well, that pass just uh, nowhere near the receiver. Might have been a mix-up on the route. Phillip Brooks with inside receivers. Howard decides to keep it this time. That happens. Third down and six for Howard. Oh, beautiful catch by Sennett. Look nice. at him go. Ben Sennett <laughs> looking for a block. Finally. Runs out of gas and has a few cyclones catching up to it for this offense. A big return to cinder drive underway here for Kansas State. How do you answer? The pride of Waterloo, Iowa. Giddens wrapped up behind the line of scrimmage, lost a yard. Freeler cutting through there and making the tackle. You're going to see a lot of 12 personnel when these two guys teams go at it. And there's a reason why. As Senate makes another grab, and it's good for a first down. Serge is trying to keep up with him. Talking about a freshman now. Trying to take over for one of the better secondary people. And Senate again with another catch. He's got three of them. Today. That's another program that knows who they are. Yep, they do. Oh, bootleg action here. Howard is in. Touchdown. Beautiful fake. Everybody bit, and he's in for the touchdown. Try to get him in the flat. Oh, look at that. Little jet sweep action. Brooks is in there. <laughs> Entertaining all the way through because you've already seen the quick strike capability of Iowa State. They've done it with explosives all night. Here comes Carson Hansen with the return. And they'll have decent field position. Right? Ubu Sama in the backfield, and Rocco's going to let one fly deep. Incomplete intended for Null one more time, who had that uh, touchdown on the slant. as a redshirt freshman. Out of the shotgun. Why not hand off to Sama again? And he's ahead for seven yards. B.J. Payne making the tack. R.J. Garcia. Third down and three. A pistol formation and make it out. Oh, that's nice. a nice mm -hmm. pitch and catch right there for the first down to Steve O'Klotz. That reverse out, you can see those defensive ends start chasing, going the direction that you open up, and that allows whoever it is. It can be the back, it can be the fullback, it can be a tight end, whoever's coming back into that flat area. Well-designed play. Quarterbacks in the country just made one poor oh, throw. Here we go. Sama. Abu. <laughs> Get another pick and it basket. Picking him up. Putting them down. Touchdown. How many more can Abu do? Tim, this, this is why I say this kid reminds me of Walter Payton. He's explosive. You can see him. He's so tightly wound. Once he gets tapped on the back end, it looks like somebody shot him out of a cannon. That little burst right there, you can see how tightly he's wound, and boom, he just pushes off of a guy. Walter used to do that, just to spring off of people, man. He's like a, a little pinball wizard. <laughs> Spencer, he's getting close to all-time records here. Well, he had 197 at the half. Yeah, he's got 268 now with three touchdowns. Holy cow. He's fifth place all-time in terms of numbers in a single game on carries. 
kid's unbelievable. You know who he's behind, by the way? Who's that? <laughs> Troy Davis. How about that? Troy, that's a name. Troy Kansas, Davis. Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah. Troy Davis in 96 and 95. And, oh, by the way, Dave Hopman, Kansas State in 1961 is fourth. This young man is now fifth. How about Sama? Abu, how do you do? <laughs> Sama the third. Well, Tim, he's been the antidote to this 16th rank rush offense of Kansas State. Kansas State now. Senate will block for him. And there he goes ahead for seven, maybe eight. Nice. Drayshawn Ward. Now, you know these backs from Kansas State are saying, okay, we better break a few here. Why now? Since a little anxiety, Timmy. On the curl, the ball is caught by Senate. The power look. Rayshon Ward nodding that power eye. And he's wrapped up in a hurry. First to get there was Sadowski, and then plenty of help for methodical drives. That Iowa State has it. Then the explosive score of the Cyclones, and there's one underneath to Will Swanson. Back up tight end. Senate in the slot. Comes over to block. And Treshawn Ward will get ahead for about three. Don't you? <laughs> Treshawn Ward will stay back on the play fake, and there's the pass for Brooks. Oh, he almost had great it. Defender, man. Almost had it. Brooks. Really well defended by Cooper. Amano. Yeah, one throw ball, but he's got a little let, left hand on the waist right there, does mm -hmm. Cooper. Out of the shotgun. Four man rush trying to set up the screen. Middle screen to Ward. Now, this will be an interesting decision. Fourth down coming up. Underneath, shallow yeah. cross to Jace Brown. <laughs> That's a great play design. From the 13-yard line. Howard in some trouble. He's just yep. trying to get back to the line of scrimmage. Great penetration by Iowa State. They had uh, several Cyclones. Joey Peterson being the first, number 52, the Leo end. And records falling as well. We're tied at 28. And here's Howard trying to separate himself here. Into the end zone, incomplete. Fans want a flag. Garrett Oakley was the intended receiver. That was not catchable. Yeah, was I believe it was flag. caught. Wow. Yeah, very that late flag. Late flag. Pass interference, number 29, defense. The foul occurred in the end zone, so the ball will be placed at the two-yard line. Automatic wow. first down. Here, he steps up and kind of catches him. I see that. Oh, boy, that, that was a very late flag. I got no problem with the call. There's the touchdown, though. Treshawn Ward takes it in there. Boomer will hold it. And the kick is good from Tennant. Offensive unit. I mean, yeah. the average run over 38 points a game, you know. So, you talk about that, man. There's no mystery to folks around here that they can score. Oh, yeah. Carson Hansen with the return. Looking to bounce it outside. Down he goes, and a flag yeah, comes down. Foul. That could be a face mask. Personal foul. Face mask. Zero. And there he goes again. Boy, those quick feet. Look at those quick feet. He just every play. He almost popped out of there, yeah. too, man. Hopping from 61. <laughs> moving up to the fourth position. All-time single-game rushing record. And this time... Samuel runs into a little more heat, this time from Colby McAllister, number 20, the strong safety. That's null in motion. It's Rocco lets it fly, wow. and it's caught. That is oh, Jaden Smith. Higgins. He almost broke it free for another big play, as it is. It's still an explosive. In his little trail technique right here with a little help from the motion, able to get off the ball to the out cut in these bad condition, and oh, spin right there in the mini fashion. <laughs> Higgins doing a wonderful job of the extra effort and the pass completion. How about Rocco, man? His evolution yeah. happened right before our eyes. Play two times. Sure was. Easton Dean, the tight end, moves into the slot right. Beck with time. Nice pickup. Look out. Looking for his man. It's caught. It's touchdown. Jaden Higgins. And there's a right back at you from Rocco. Great to catch. But watch Henson right here. Number 26, pick up this block. Boom, right there. 
Otherwise, you got a small guy affecting the quarterback's ability to throw it. It's clean, ultimately, because Rocco got it in there, but the back picking up the block was the difference. Extra point is good. <laughs> Enjoying this. Well, that is a tight spiral. And Higgins on the receiving end. Short kick and a fair catch made. The communication skill is uh, so in keeping with what Matt Campbell's all about. DJ Giddens is stopped, stoned behind the line of scrimmage. Second and 11. Slant caught. It's Philip Brooks. Yards and the first down. Howard on the check down. He's going to the tight end. Garrett Oakley this time, though. Okay. Second down and six. Giddens. Well, they populate the line Big time. so quickly. Jameson Patton, the nickelback, comes up to make that stop three. On the 45. It's the three-man rush. Somebody should be open here. Oh, Senate defense. had it broken up. That's a good defensive play. Null and Dimitri Stanley back deep. Punt caught in the air tonight by Jalen Null. It doesn't matter if it's a first down or a touchdown. And after a quiet first half, we saw that on that last drive with a first down catch and then a big time touchdown. Well, he had a team high seven catches in that Texas game. Not much for Sama. 2014. Carson Hansen's in the backfield nice. and underneath they go right to Carson Hansen. Field, number 54 offense. It's a five-yard penalty. Mm. Replay second down. <laughs> Big time defensive play by Nate Matla and 16. Trips to the top of your screen. Just a three-man rush. You should have plenty of time. Underneath, plenty of room. Here's Noel. Jalen Noel wow. down the sideline. Another big play for Noel. His second of the night. 82 yards. Down the line. <laughs> Trying to make it. <laughs> I thought you might go that route. Look at this. Oh, see that little jackrabbit step right there, oh, man? Oh, the tight end with a great block, and too. And you don't have much space on the sideline, but just to be aware of where you are, and let's talk about making a move in a phone booth right there, man. That's yeah. special. Benjamin Bramer, 18, the tight end, made a great block. I think he took out two guys, Spence. Well, a 79-yarder for Null, an 82-yarder for Null. Trying to keep pace with Saba. Three receptions, 160 yards, and two touchdowns for him. It's a pretty nice day at the office. You think? One to 50 to win this baby. Uh, change of mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Captain, oh, Captain. Spencer T. <laughs> Racking. Yes, sir. Tillman, <laughs> Saba, 60, 71, 77, no, 79, and 82. And oh, by the way, the short one, Jaden Higgins for 33 yards. You get rusty with your red zone execution when that happens, you know? <laughs> <laughs> They'll bring it out. Then took out two guys along the sideline with it. a little shield block. <laughs> Giddens ahead for just a yard. You might want to score quickly. To ensure the fact that you'll have more than maybe uh, one more possession. Here's Howard with a rollout. And that was picked off. Intercepted. <laughs> Gary Vaughn, the weak side linebacker, in the right spot. This defense, a drop and zone blitz combination. I used to see the old, you guys remember Charles Haley. You remember Charles Haley, right? It's reared its ugly head here for Kansas State. Saba with the only turnover for Iowa State. And it led to a Kansas State touchdown. Here's Sama. And Abu gets ahead for a few. <laughs> Second down and six. Sama trying to bounce it away, but on sideline to sideline. Rocco's pass underneath incomplete. The hit like a 60 degree Mac Daddy inside the 10. End over end. This is good, too. Great job of playing to get behind. Yes, indeed. As prescribed, 
to the three-yard line by Perkins. And he dropped that like a three-foot foot. He course. sure did. <laughs> of course, I would yank it and miss the hole entirely. <laughs> Every game, and have a chance of a total win season. Well, we'll see on this drive as D.J. Giddens gets ahead. No. Iowa State unable to make him pay. He has an opportunity of retribution here. Keegan Johnson taking it on an end around. He had time to work with. All of your timeouts are going to And you'd really rather not give Iowa State a chance to get the ball back if you did score and get to 7-5 and five and improve his bowl stop. He is awesome, bro. He doesn't have it. This comes up in late, though. Yeah. Yep. Jace Brown was there. The ball came out late. And uh, just a base defense here from Iowa State. Three-man front. Giddens forges ahead for about three. That hurts them. His okay. pass almost picked off. His receiver slipped and fell. Jace Brown. Kind of delayed route coming underneath. Crossing route. Brooks, he's got it. Yep. Big time. First down on fourth and seven. Not deep in their territory. Nice. Over the middle in the seam, and it's caught. It's Garrett Oakley. The skinny post if you have to. Needs a right through an arm, though. Blitz coming. Pass incomplete. A snake. Second down and ten. <laughs> Looking for Garcia, and that one is airmail. The drive that began on the two. On third down, they run it here. Look at Giddens. And he did all he could to muster three yards. Jeremiah Cooper. Six on the ground for him tonight. 11 receiving. Here we go on fourth down. Looking long. Incomplete. Wow, they threw a flag. They threw a flag. They did throw two. the flag. Yep. Garrett Oakley, the intended receiver. Bo would have. I think he got a little bit handsy. There's also a down player, Tim, on the hash there. On first down. Looking for the home run pitch. Boy, that Great was an defense. outstanding, I thought, defensive play by Jaden Jackson. Spencer. Well, Miles Purchase had a beat on that he the sure whole did. time. Again, from his safety position, Fryer came back over there as well. And, you know, that. <laughs> Giddens on a stretch play. Mm. Giddens near a first down. Saved us, man. Yeah. <laughs> Done a wonderful job. Third down, a yard to go. Mm. Pops three for Giddens. And he's got a first down. And see, now you use some clock here. Yeah, that's Giddens just making a good play right there. Howard out of the gun again. A pump fake. Now orchestrating, looking for some help. Hold away. Yep. You know, for a glance, for a glancing moment there, it appeared that he had an opportunity. Um, was the intended receiver. Second and ten. Quarterback keeper. Howard gets ahead for about three, maybe four. Caleb Bacon, number 50, is inside. Watch him. He's the guy that's responsible for what the quarterback releases. Howard on loads Just it. a slight miss. Incomplete. Vaughn was there in coverage against Giddens. This, but they're playing a diamond. They've got four defenders versus this three. I don't like this look. you got to go opposite. Come off the lead. There you go. Howard trying to get away from pressure. Let's it fly in the end zone. It's knocked away by Purchase. Miles Purchase doing the job against Phillip Brooks. Well, I'll tell you what, that's about as great a defense as I've ever seen, Tim. Four, and you can see him in the end zone. Yeah. Two guys back there defending him. Now, the end zone rule applies. Defense of offenses in weather like this. Kansas State, 497 yards of offense. Iowa State, 497 yards of total <laughs> offense. I think it's seven more seconds on there. You have a situation, and uh, that time, championship games out there. Oklahoma State had to come from behind to win against BYU at T. Boone Dickens Stadium earlier today. The clock is winding down, and for Iowa State, Spencer, hey. seven and five. Hey, at least you're going to play. That's a heck of a turnaround for Matt Campbell's team, and Amu Sama yep. has now sent a message about the short and long-term future of the Iowa State Cyclones program. And it's such a powerful narrative for this team that started off with a very difficult situation at yeah. quarterback. Mm -hmm. And then you know what the narrative was that happened there, Tim. And then now to have this guy with Nate Shieldhouse 
ushering him through to get him to this point. That's yes. very special. Yeah, the Hunter Decker story. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's he one just that nailed we, it. We could never lose sight of, no question about that. But Abu Sama, Spencer, man, that was late breaking news we received about the two veteran backs not making the trip. And again, in these times, we just have to understand the portal is what it is. It's a good problem to have. Uh, you may lose a couple of players, but the bottom line is you're going to get better. And forget about it. You can't look past this year. Everything is about immediacy now in this new era of college football that we've got. Yep. Mm. It's a happy group of Cyclones. You can rest assured of that. Matt Campbell and Iowa State has a big time future in front of them moving forward. And uh, as I mentioned yesterday, and I, I did a little earlier tonight, some of the many people on our crew, marvelous job that they've done for us all year, and we'll recognize more of them in a moment. But right now, our Josh Sims is down with Matt Campbell. Coach, you told me coming out of halftime, the goal was detail and precision going into the second half. How did you guys embody that out here in the second half tonight? Well, you know, our kids just believe. You know, I thought we played a really good first half, and, you know, there are a couple little things went against us, but, you know, our kids have never flinched. And, you know, we got a really young team, but they believe. And we got a great senior class, Gary Bond, man, one of those great seniors that have led us, makes an incredible play. So I'm just honored to coach this team, honestly. It's, I'm really humbled by this group. Coach, what can you say about your young playmakers, your quarterback, Sama tonight, Noel making some big-time plays? Yeah, we're, we got a really good young team. And, you know, we've been against the odds all year, but these young guys have really carried us. And, man, their belief, their love, their passion, it's been awesome. But uh, it's, it was a complete team effort tonight. I'm really proud of our guys. Have you ever had a game like this with that many big time plays? And I'm sure a game like this in the snow. No, I, this was a first. So, uh, man, I'm, I'm just glad we were able to come out on top. All the respect for K-State. But what a great day to win this one. Congrats, Coach. Thanks, guys. Have a great one. Got to be happy for that guy, Spencer. You really do. Well, he knows how to put a, together a team. He knows how to put together a coaching staff. He knows how to motivate. I mean, he's an end-to-end -end solution, and they're glad to have him there. I believe Rocco is ready to go with uh, Josh now. <laughs> and Rocco, first of all, congrats on the win. K-State was undefeated at home this season. You guys came in and ruined that for them. What was the key for you guys tonight? Yeah, you know, we worked all this week. You know, all the situations, all the downs. We stick together as a team, you know, just coming off uh, that loss last week against Texas. So we bonded, we, we stuck together, and we came out, and we have resiliency tonight. What can you say about what Samo was able to do out of the backfield with those three rushing touchdowns over 200 yards on the ground? Man, he was due for another day. Um, I'm proud of Sama. You know, he works hard in practice. Uh, he, he's had some bumps along the road. Uh, but, you know, he stuck with the plan, and, you know, he stayed with it. So I'm proud of him. Thank you for your support. Congrats on the win. Go celebrate. Thank you so much. Go close! <laughs> some snow angels. What a way to close it out. <laughs> And all these guys here, all of them, Timmy, they do a fantastic job. Your buddy Scotty and Brett.